Who's there? Stay away from the keepers. Must stay away from the keepers. This place tears at me as though I'm still alive and being drawn quartered. I can't stand it anymore. I live in a dark world where no light shines through. I carry this burden with every step I take. Who's there? Where'd you come from? That'll teach you.
there. Who's there? Where'd you come from?
Mother? Mother! It can't be. Serana? Is it really you? I can't believe it! How do we get inside? We have to talk. Serana, what are you doing here? Where's your father? He doesn't know we're here. I don't have time to explain. I must have failed. Harkon's found a way to decipher the prophecy, hasn't he? No, you've got it all wrong. We're here to stop him. To make everything right. Wait a moment. You've brought a stranger here? Have you lost your mind? No, you don't... You. Come forward. I would speak with you. So how has it come to pass that a vampire hunter is in the company of my daughter? It pains me to think you'd travel with Serana under the guise of her protector in an effort to hunt me down. Glorious. Serana claims you're her guardian, yet your first instinct appears to be greed. I see that my daughter is still as naive as ever. Serana has sacrificed everything to prevent Harkon from completing the prophecy. I would have expected her to explain that to you. You think I'd have the audacity to place my own daughter in that tomb for the protection of her Elder Scroll alone? The scrolls are merely a means to an end. The key to the tyranny of the sun is Serana herself. When I fled Castle Volcahar, I fled with two Elder Scrolls. The scroll I presume you found with Serana speaks of Ariel and his arcane weapon, Ariel's bow. The second scroll declares that the blood of Cold Harbor's daughter will blind the eye of the dragon. Like myself, Serana was a human once. We were devout followers of Lord Molig Ball. Tradition dictates the females be offered to Molig Ball on his summoning day. Few survive the ordeal. Those that do emerge as a pure-blooded vampire. We call such confluences the Daughters of Cold Harbor. It's what some call the domain of Molag Ball, his place in oblivion. Now you're beginning to see why I wanted to protect Serana, and why I've kept the other Elder Scroll as far from her as possible. If Harkon obtained Ariel's bow, and Serana's blood was used to taint the weapon, the tyranny of the sun would be complete. In his eyes, She'd be dying for the good of all vampires. And how exactly do you plan on stopping him? No, I will not allow that to happen. The Elder Scrolls only tell of events that might be, not events that will be. You care nothing for Serana, or our plight. Whether or not you've become one of us in order to survive the Soul Cairn, you're still a vampire hunter at heart. You're here because we're abominations in your mind. Evil creatures that need to be destroyed. I see. You're simply here to stop the tyranny of the sun, despite the cost to Serana. Nothing else matters. This stranger aligns herself with those that would hunt you down and slay you like an animal. Yet I should entrust you to her. This stranger has done more for me in the brief time I've known her than you've done in centuries. How dare you! I gave up everything I cared about to protect you from that fanatic you call a father! Yes, he's a fanatic. He's changed. But he's still my father. Why can't you understand how that makes me feel? Serana, if you'd only open your eyes the moment your father discovers your role in the prophecy, that he needs your blood, you'll be in terrible danger. So to protect me, you decided to shut me away from everything I cared about. You never asked me if hiding me in that tomb was the best course of action. You just expected me to follow you blindly. Both of you were obsessed with your own paths. Your motivations might have been different, but in the end, I'm still just a pawn to you too. I want us to be a family again, but I don't know if we can ever have that. 
Maybe we don't deserve that kind of happiness. Maybe it isn't for us. But we have to stop him. Before he goes too far. And to do that, we need the Elder Scroll. I'm sorry, Serana. I didn't know. I didn't see. I've allowed my hatred of your father to estrange us for too long. Forgive me. If you want the Elder Scroll, it's yours. Your intentions are still somewhat unclear to me. But for Serana's sake, I'll assist you in any way that I can. Yes. I've kept it safely secured here ever since I was imprisoned. Fortunately, you're in a position to breach the barrier that surrounds these ruins. You need to locate the tallest of the rocky spires that surround these ruins. At their bases, the barrier's energy is being drawn from unfortunate souls that have been exiled here. Destroy the keepers that are tending them, and it should bring the barrier down. One more word of warning. There's a dragon that calls itself Dernevir roaming. The ideal masters have charged him with overseeing the keepers, and will undoubtedly intervene if you're perceived as a threat. Harkon's vision is a world plunged in eternal darkness, where the vampire can flourish, and never again fear. What he fails to realize is how much attention would be called to our kind if the prophecy came to fruition. If eternal night fell, there are many who wouldn't stand for it. They would raise armies. The order of the day would be our destruction, until every last vampire was hunted. I do. It's how the vampire has survived for millennia, and the only way we can continue to survive in the future. When I entered the Soul Cairn, I had intended to strike a bargain with the Ideal Masters, the custodians of this place. I requested refuge in the Soul Cairn, and in exchange, I would provide... If I had foreseen the value they placed on my own soul, the Ideal Masters un... Fortunately, I was able to hold them at bay and retreat... Unfortunately, since the Keepers weren't able to claim my soul, they had their minions construct a barrier. Time has very little meaning to me. Consequently, it ha I suppose you could call this the ultimate waiting game. Each watching the other, to see which. I know ve They're mystic entities, that lord over the Soul Cairn, controlling every aspect from its fabric to its appearance. Well, some necromancers believe they are the crystalline structures dotting the Soul Cairn. I believe there's more to it. I think they transcend what we perceive as a... Perhaps they were once corporeal beings. But they've obviously reached a point where they no longer require a tangible pr conduits through which the Ideal Masters speak to their underlings and feed on their victims. The Ideal Masters' weakness is their insatiable hunger. It's the reason for the Soul Cairn's existence, and the only leverage a necromancer has when bargaining with them. The ability to summon powerful undead guardians, as one would conjure an Atronach or... However, the majority of necromancers that are foolish enough to enter into a bargain with the ideal ma- As you've been traveling in the Soul Cairn, your body- Let's just say, a tiny part of you rubbed off on it, and in its place. You should find no difficulty using the portal any longer. Be careful, and keep my daughter safe. Let's kill those keeper things and get back to the prison. Relieved. All those things have been building for a while. You have no idea how long I wanted to say. Look, I loved my father, but when he found that prophecy, that became his life. I was close with my mother, but she just kept feeding me her opinions of him and eventually I started believing them. Like I said, we were never very close. Not a lot of- But once we threw our lot in with Molig Ball, People just don't think about their families anymore. Power- I was. Honestly, it took me up until now to figure out that my mother was real. He was obsessed with power. She was obsessed with seeing- Maybe I could have seen this coming. We could all be better off now. Oh, they definitely were.
Anyway, we should keep moving. <laughs>